platelet-rich fibrin, PRF, is a wonderful material. It's loaded with growth factor. It promotes wound healing, bone regeneration, graft stabilization, wound sealing, and hemostasis. So this is the PRF, and let's talk about how it's attained. First, we're gonna perform a phlebotomy and draw blood from the patient into these vacuum vials. And normally, you'll draw at least two sometimes four, sometimes six. These vials have a negative pressure and they draw the blood into the vial. You want to have a bal an even number of vials. If you don't, you need to have a vial, uh, an extra vial in the centrifuge because there needs to be a balance with these vials. I'll show you that in just a minute. You put them in the centrifuge, so if there's a vial here, there needs to be a vial here. A vial here, there needs to be a vial here, it needs to be balanced. So for some reason, you only drew one vial, or an odd number of vials. You should put another vial on the other side, and we're going to centrifuge these, we're going to spin these for eight minutes. Now we always do a double spin of 16 minutes because it seems like the PRF is not completely formed most of the time after eight minutes. So we run two cycles. And the way you do this so you don't have to wait on it is if you know you're going to use PRF, in our case in dentistry, it's going to be for bone grafting. You're going to use it with freeze-dried bone or possibly just separate for socket preservation or adding uh, volume to bone. I spin the PRF before I'm doing my surgery so I'm not performing the surgery and then having to wait on the PRF to spin for 16 minutes. The part we're going to use is the yellow part. See, this is the blood clot, and the yellow part is the PRF that's so rich in growth factor and enhances healing. So just cut that off. We're going to put it on a perforated tray. We'll soon have another video on bone grafting, and I'm going to talk about when do you use freeze-dried bone alone, when you use PRF alone, and when you use PRF combined with freeze-dried bone. It's very simple, and we'll have that video soon for those of you that are subscribed to DentistryMasterClasses.com. You see it looks like a little caterpillar, and you put this on the perforated tray. So in this case, obviously, we had four vials, and these are tissue forceps that I'm using to pick up the clot. Okay, so this is done, this is attained prior to my surgery. Then we're gonna put this lid on the tray and let that sit. And after about five or 15 minutes, it's gonna flatten the PRF clots. And it also pushes the serum in the clots through the perforated tray. So you can draw that serum from the bottom part of the tray. And that's also high in growth factor. And you can use that to mix the PRF with the freeze-dried bone as the liquid part. So this video is on how to attain PRF. We're going to have another video on how to use it once you attain it. What do you use it for? So that's the Dental Minute.